A popular eatery in the Mercer Mall is permanently closing its doors. KNW Cafeteria is being shuttered after 30 years of business in the two Virginias. WVVA Star Connor is live at the former restaurant where she brings us more. Star. That's right, Melinda. KNW announced that they were closing permanently here at Mercer Mall last week when they put the notes on the doors. That's leaving a lot of employees um, without jobs today, and they just don't know what to do. That also leaves a lot of faithful customers upset that they're going to have to say goodbye to those home cooked meals cafeteria style. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts after 28 years of leaving and saying goodbye. The shock of the closure starts at the top of the management team at this restaurant. The loss of this business is leaving faithful customers just as surprised as employees here. I loved K&W. I ate there every week, sometimes two or three times a week. They always had excellent food and I will miss them. We reached out to K&W's corporate office in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. They say the Bluefield location, the last location in West Virginia, is their fifth restaurant to close since the pandemic began. Now 28 locations remain in the Carolinas and Virginia. K&W is a popular eatery for the senior citizen community here, with a menu that featured more than 100 choices. For Joe Horn, the memories of good food linger. I have the last of my pinto beans I ate there Saturday and brought back over here today to finish. This is their container. I felt very sad, wondering where I would get my vegetables over here at the mall. One former worker says part of the appeal here was the fact that people could eat as much or as little as you want. You kind of set your own destiny when you come down our line. You know, if you wanted to blow yourself up with food, then you, you could load your tray down. If you wanted just three vegetables, there it was. The senior customer base led to a special nickname for K&W in Bluefield. We were known for canes and walkers. Uh, sometimes there people would be in twice a day, not just once. See them every day. I mean, they become your family. K&W 28 at Bluefield was family. We met a lot of people, had a lot of good times, a lot of bad times. Kind of hate to see it happen. But a lot of good people work for us. Feel sorry for a lot of folks that's out of a job. All the customers that I've met through the years have been good to me. Seen a lot of people pass through the years. Seen a lot of kids grow up through the years. Matter of fact, we've hired some of the ones that was coming in here that was kids when they come in here and ended up working for us. Hager is trying to help the displaced workforce find something new. We've been trying to look up online for our employees, jobs that they might can go to, just trying to help them and make sure, you know, they have opportunities. It's not just line workers. This husband and wife management team are among those unemployed when this restaurant closed. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll, we'll find something. God closes one door, he opens another. Sometimes it's bigger and brighter doors. Now, Hager says that she learned of her closing here on Friday morning, and they were permanently shut down at 2 p.m. on that same day. Now, on a personal note, I've always loved K&W. I grew up eating K&W as a child, and even here in Bluefield when I didn't even cook my own meals. But I'm truly going to miss those homestyle meals, and I guess I'm just going to have to find somewhere else to go. But I'm here live here in Bluefield at Mercer Mall. I'll send things back to you guys in the studio.